Morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oil seed comments for Friday, January 25th. <clears throat> it was a short week this week with the holiday starting it off. It's been a choppy week. It seemed like we tried to start off the week uh, rallying the marketplace. And we kind of midweek broke it, and then we had a late rally on the close yesterday, only to find out that uh, follow through in the overnight session was lacking, and we're off around two, three, five cents wheat, corn, and beans here this morning. Couple of things of no further by the trade. First off, we're still pondering over weather. It seems like if we rally, there's enough rain in the forecast to scare the bulls. If we break the market, there's not enough rain. And the forecast stays that way for both Argentina and Brazil, both trying to get rains as far as helping the crop and secondly, harvesting the rain to go and try to move beans and or corn into ports for export. We also saw an explosion, or not an explosion, but pretty good gains in the cash markets for both corn and beans yesterday. We've been doing beans business this week with China and others and that's put a bid underneath the cash market and that helped the rally late in the day yesterday. We also saw a good ethanol number and with our USDA report uh, back in January showing tight domestic stocks, the ethanol number coming in a little bit supportive and the lack of farmer selling put a bid underneath the corn market yesterday in the cash and that also helped the nearby futures corn market. Wheat, however, has been struggling throughout the whole week. We had export sales out later on this morning. We'll see how they pan on out. We have been struggling with our wheat and corn, but they've been fair to excellent for the soybean complex. So today may be another day of the trade monitoring weather updates for South America. We'll see how our sales are. We'll also continue to monitor cash markets, but it all seems like if we continue to see the cash markets remaining firm as we work our way through the oil crop, that'll be some of the leading factor as opposed to of South American weather for the very near term. Once again, those are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.